Hello, good morning. This is Ikoku CC live from Barcelona. How are you? Welcome to my channel. Um, I posted a video last week and uh, some people were like, oh, hang on. Um, we just posted a video. We don't know who you are, what you're about, where you're from, what the channel, is, what, what this channel is about. So today's video is all about that to answer your questions. So I'll start from uh, my name, the name of my channel. Ikoku is my surname. Then Chiogo, the full name is actually Chidiogo, um, is my native name. That's from the Igbo language from Nigeria. It means the favor of God or the mercy of God. Then my other name is Constance. And there you have it, my surname and my initials, that's the name of my channel, Ikoku CC. Then why the channel? Sometime last year, I started a blog, it must have been early last year, I started a blog and I was writing weekly about life in Barcelona. I would go to festivals and write about it, uh, special holidays, um, go to events, uh, entertainment, write about culture, travel within Barcelona and write about it. And um, people liked it. A friend of mine from Germany or living in Germany called me and said, I have been following your blog and I like everything that you're doing. Why not set up a YouTube channel? My first reaction was, oh, no, 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 not me. What? YouTube channel? I said to her, I'm such a private person. I don't like to be in people's faces. I don't like to be in camera. I know you're, you're, you're shaking your head and laughing. <laughs> I don't like to be in people's homes. I think it's invasive. I just want to be by myself. Um, and she said, okay. Then later in the year, I traveled to Nigeria. I'm originally from Nigeria. I traveled on vacation. And we have this group called the African Press Club. Um, we have a Facebook group. Uh, people from different countries belong to this group. And so I get this question a lot from um, Spaniards, people from Spain. Uh, they talk about Africa, they tell me they've never been to Africa, they don't know nothing about Africa. So they were saying to me, uh, while you go home, can you send us uh, videos? Can you um, send us pictures? We would like to hear from you when you're home. Uh, we want to know what is the real deal since you're from there. And I was delighted to do that because within Nigeria, I was traveling a lot. I was writing, posting videos, sending pictures, and people were eating this thing up. A friend from Kenya reached out to me and said, why not start a vlog? I have been following um, your productions on Facebook and they're wonderful and I think it's a material that you can turn into a vlog. The same reaction. No, not doing that. I am not a vlog kind of girl. I consider myself serious. I'm just a writer. I'm a journalist. There's something wonderful about being anonymous. Uh, you write. People read your scripts or your material, your pieces, they like it. They don't know you. You're walking down the street, no one is coming to harass you, no one is coming to ask you for, for um, you know, something, or no one is waving at you. You're unrecognizable, you're like every other person. I told her that I like that. She said, okay. I continued my life, and when I returned to Barcelona in February, COVID-19 happened and that changed everything. 
guys has covid changed your life it has changed my i think it has changed the world i got so many calls from nigeria um, emails from friends from family members worried asking are you okay we hear that people are dropping dead in spain like no man's business we heard that the mugs are overrun are overflowing um, we heard that Europe is shutting down. We, we wish you didn't go back to Europe. Um, we wish you stayed back in Nigeria. Do you want to come back home? Um, we can organize that. We can arrange for that. At that time, I didn't even take this COVID thing seriously. I said, wow, okay. That was when the shutdown in Spain, the lockdown began. I decided, let me do a video, go out there check for myself what's happening outside, do a video, one video, and provide information about what is going on inside Spain. I did that video, which is the fourth video you, you saw on my channel. I posted it and I was shocked. I mean, I posted it on Facebook first. It garnered over 200 views. Then I posted it on LinkedIn. It had over 370 views. I was like, people are eating this thing up. People actually watch. I was surprised because usually I don't do much on social media. I'm busy most of the time with other things. So I won't call myself a social media enthusiast. So that surprised me so much. Then I told myself, well, you're a journalist, you have a camera, why not start recording what is happening in Barcelona during this difficult time? I mean, because this is history we're seeing right here. This is a pandemic, a global um, disease ravaging different countries. And that's how my, my channel was born. That is the story of my channel, the birth of my channel. So, the next thing that I want to talk about is what should you expect from this channel? It's going to be eclectic, a variety of things. Um, in Barcelona, it's very interesting living here. It's a tourist destination. That means there are so many activities, so many festivals. Um, so you're going to be getting videos on culture, on travel, uh, videos on entertainment. Then um, sometimes you might also get videos on political commentary, uh, political thoughts, because I am um, originally a political journalist. I started my career writing politics and then i moved on to diplomacy and then business so i've covered all these areas um, i love current affairs uh, from time to time um, i will be talking about topical issues that affect africans and the african diaspora and i'm always going to be analyzing things from an african perspective I can also talk about world issues. I mean, COVID is a world issue. It's affecting everyone. So expect this channel to be informative and educational. It's about news and information. I will try to bring you a new things that you probably didn't know about or you were not aware of. That's what the channel is going to be about. A question that I got was, how did you end up in Barcelona? Good question. Um, I was born and raised in Nigeria, but I have lived in different countries because my work as a reporter has taken me all over so many countries. My last job was in Nigeria. And um, by the time the job was wrapping up, I was thinking of doing a PhD. It is something that I actually always wanted to do a long time ago um, because I thought to myself that at some point I would like to teach in a university. I'd always had the ambition of doing a PhD. 
I was um, in the library in Abuja, Nigeria, the capital city, looking for schools, and I bumped into a colleague. Uh, I hadn't seen him in a long time. We were talking and catching up, and I said, what are you doing these days? He told me that he was in Barcelona doing his doctorate. I said, wow, do you know what? I am actually applying to do my doctorate as well. Can you tell me about your school? He explained to me he was in the Department of Journalism and Communication Sciences. Uh, both of us are journalists, of course. And he told me it's a good school. Uh, the lecturers are great. Uh, it's not expensive because affordability is always a problem for Africans that travel abroad for school. Um, so he said, why not apply? You never know. I took his advice, applied to the school, and a year later, or almost a year, I opened my email box, and there you go, an email from the school um, admitting me and asking me to, um, to accept or decline the admission within uh, two or three months. I uh, replied them immediately, and then I started thinking, what next? Do I want to relocate to Barcelona, or do I want to do a long distance program? At that point, some friends said, why do you want to leave a good job and go to Barcelona? I thought about it, I said to myself, you know what? A new experience will be good for me, actually. Uh, let me go uh, back abroad. Um, have some time away, um, think about my future, um, recalibrate and decide how I want uh, to plan my life from there on. I bought a ticket, packed my bags and landed in Barcelona. That's my journey to Barcelona. This is my third year um, doing a PhD and I must tell you, it's tough. It's a nightmare and, and it's the loneliest thing you would ever do. It is lonely. Nobody ever told me. This is not to discourage you if you're trying to do a PhD or if you're applying. Definitely go on your business and you know do it if you want. But be prepared mentally. It is tough. It is hard work. It's, it's, it's one of the hardest things I've done in my life. But time flies, it's already three years, it's unbelievable. If I'm doing it, you can do it. So I encourage you, if you want to jump into that fire, because it is fire, <laughs> I can tell you that for free. Jump in, you know, jump into the ocean, swim, and um, you make it. What else? So what's the African Press Club? The African Press Club is a group that I set up last year. It's a professional organization for journalists, uh, writers, anybody that is in the business of news. You can, you can be in production, whatever it is in the in the in the in the media sector. Um, so it's it's a, a community where we interact with one another, we engage one another, we try to support one another we provide opportunities for ourselves and we discuss last year we had uh, quite a number of activities in barcelona that were successful if you want to know more about the african press club you can go to our website www.africanpressclub.com www.africanpressclub.com that's also where i write my blog a uh, weekly blog about whatever I find interesting in Barcelona. Is there any other question that I want to answer today? I, I think that's about it. Um, I am delighted that you are able to come on this journey with me. Um, if you like my videos, please subscribe, um, share with your friends, with your family, uh, like my videos, drop some comments if there's anything in particular that you would like to see on this channel feel free to you know drop a message 
in the comment box and um, what about frequency yes this channel um, will have videos once a week I will probably be posting either on Wednesdays or Thursdays and then see how it goes I have so much work to do in school um, so I will try to make it in such a way that it's um, easy for me to balance everything out um, so once a week that's the frequency for now it might change in the future we'll see how things pan out um, thank you for watching um, I hope to see you soon wherever you are whatever continent whatever country be safe and um, also share with me what is happening in COVID, with COVID-19 in your country have a lovely 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 day see you soon bye bye bye